it looks like Denis Siplenkov may be making a comeback, but it would be a disaster if he's thrown straight to Levan Saginashvili. Welcome to the video I'm wrestling fans I'm Pradeep from I'm wrestling news and today we will discuss Denis Siplenkov's comeback and a potential match against Levan Saginashvili before that please give this video a thumbs up earlier i used to ask you guys for 100 thumbs up when my channel was small and i always achieved that target today's target will be 1000 likes if i get to that number i'll be really really happy and thank you very much in advance so iron rating youtube channel uploaded a video where they discussed potential athletes who can beat levan saginashvili now that devon lerat is out of the question we have seen that he was not able to beat levan saginashvili although some people believe that if devon did not have that injury in the second round maybe it could have been different i do not believe that it could have been any different i believe it still would have been 6-0 for levan but it would have been definitely very interesting to see that so the first athlete that was into consideration was zaur zaur is definitely a beast of an arm wrestler but i don't think he is good enough or big enough to beat levan saginashvili the next consideration was the polish giant alex kurdecha i have said this multiple times already that alex kurdecha is only guy out of top 20 arm wrestlers in the world who has the frame to beat levan saginashvili i know there are guys heavier than him cory west 200 kilos dimitri silaev 172 kilos but i still believe those guys do not have the frame to beat levan saginashvili frame to get big enough because they carry a lot of fat alex kurdecha does not have much fat on his body and he is 6 foot 6 and he looks huge Alex is only 6 years into the sport he has great pronation but he needs to work on his arm his hand is already fine not up to the level which is needed to beat Levan Saginashvili but it is already very good he needs to work more on his arm and then the next consideration was Dimitri Silaev i think he is not even 30 years old yet the siberian bear 172 kilos massive massive human being and he defeated Vitali Lalatin easier than levan defeated vitali lalatin so that is an amazing amazing achievement and people are saying that vitali is dimitri's training partner so he was able to beat vitali lalatin more comfortably than he would have been able to beat anyone who was not his training partner at that level so i think this is a valid point but vitali should also know the weaknesses of dimitri salaev because he is also his training partner and he wasn't able to capitalize on any of the weaknesses and dimitri salaev showed that he has a great explosive top roll when i interviewed dimitri salaev he told me that he needs one or two years to be able to go against levan saginashvili so there is still enough time in that then the next guy was obviously vitali lalatin vitali is 6 foot 7 6 8 i think 6 8 and he weighs around 130 kilos right now when he lost to dimitri salaev at amc tournament he was only 128 kilos and he told us that he was sick before the tournament so he was not able to perform 100% in that tournament and he is the only guy to stop levan saginashvili for 10 seconds in the first round nobody has ever stopped levan for 10 seconds but vitali did that for more than 10 seconds i am talking about super match format Vitali believes that he needs to be 150 kilos and there is enough time left in that to be able to beat Levan Saginashvili to be able to be ready to beat Levan Saginashvili and Vitali has been seeing doing a lot of compound movements and i think the super heavyweight division in the world will be shifting more towards the compound movements because being a sub 300 pound guy is not enough in today's world to be the number one super heavyweight guy in the world you need to be bigger and arm wrestling specific isolation exercises those are great everybody needs to do them but super heavyweight guys cannot get away without doing those compound movements those overhead presses those bench presses those uh, squats maybe not squats but definitely deadlifts i think we will see and this is my prediction we will see more and more arm wrestlers in the super heavyweight division start doing these compound movements and not just arm wrestling specific exercises so vitali i don't think he can beat levan saginashvili right now especially in this shape and vitali also is not big enough to beat levan in my opinion some people might be saying i'm crazy but yes vitali is 100 35 kilos at max maybe he can get to 142 143 kilos but he does not have the frame he looks like a tall skinny guy he cannot get to levan's weight levels like imagine a 160 kilo 
Vitaly Lalitin. I don't think it is possible. So the biggest, best framed guy right now is Alex Kordecha for sure. And the final consideration, Denis Siplankov. He even got 44% votes, which is always amazing. The best percentage in arm wrestling as we already know. And I don't know if Dennis was serious or not, but he was saying that he dreams about arm wrestling with Levan Saginashvili. When the other guy asked him if he gets dreams about John Brzezink, he said no, only about Levan Saginashvili. So maybe Dennis is already thinking about it if he was not joking there. Dennis also confirmed that he's healthy right now, in a good mood. He's doing regular sparrings and regular training sessions in the gym. When Dennis was unhealthy before his 2019 expected match against Levan Saginashvili, left-handed super match, and Dennis got sick, he stopped lifting for quite some time and training also, but then he started doing these table times and he was not lifting heavy weights in the gym, but he was kind of training every now and then. So it was not like he completely left arm wrestling training. And right now he's doing gym training and sparrings as well. And we have seen that Dennis can give good fight and even beat David Dadikian in practice matches. And David Dadikian, I think, can be easily top five in the world left-handed so Dennis is already at that level somewhere around top five in the world left-handed and Dennis was not able to maintain his cup against David he lost his cup but then he was able to slowly gain it back and press through David Dadikian David was avoiding Dennis's hook even seven eight nine ten months ago so this shows that Dennis Siplenkov's hook is still at elite level. So Dennis said that he's ready to pull Levan Saginashvili and Core Sports also sent us an email few months ago, about 5-6 months ago, that Dennis Siplenkov will be making a comeback at King of the Table. So maybe King of the Table 5 or King of the Table 6 earlier next year. I think it is possible but I do not want them to throw Dennis Siplenkov straight at Levan Saginashvili. It would be a disaster. Dennis is nowhere near the shape that is required to beat Levan Saginashvili. Left-handed, it could still be interesting. Why? Because Levan Saginashvili has clearly showed no intention in competing in left-handed super matches because his left wrist is injured. In this form, if somehow Levan agrees to have a match against Levan Saginashvili, against Denis Siplankov, then that could be interesting because Levan's left is injured and Denis is not in his prime form. Denis is 41 years old. There is limited amount of expectations that we can have from Denis Siplankov at this point in his career. But I still believe because of Denis Siplankov's reputation, he may be thrown straight to Levan Saginashvili, but I would like to see that match left-handed and not right-handed. Right-handed, I would love to see Denis Siplankov have a match against John Brzezink and left-handed also I would like to see him go against Devon Lerett in a rematch I think that can be a war right now so that's it for this video thank you very much again for 1000 likes subscribe to the channel and I'll see you again